Hello and welcome to this tutorial video, how to edit the .zpc file. The .zpc file is what's used to do zip code insertion in a call sheet. Service Desk has internal mechanisms found at Control F5 to make changes to your zpc file. This should always be your primary resource for making changes to your zip code display. However, you may find that you need to directly edit your .zpc file. Caution should be used when doing so. This video will provide you with the needed instruction. First, we'll demonstrate the proper way to use the clone a zip function found in Control F5. This would be used when you have a zip code that is not in your database. This could happen if the post office split a zip code or if you occasionally do service outside your normal service territory. First, go to Control F5 or go to File Functions, Other, and select Street List. Then choose to clone a zip and acknowledge the message that opens. In the box that opens, enter the zip code that you want to clone. We're going to enter 98272. Next, we're going to enter our new zip code, 98273. We'll go ahead and say OK to this message. If we go to our dispatch map, F5, and hit Z for zip code, we can see that our new zip code is now listed directly underneath the zip code that we cloned. What if we're not happy with the particular location of the cloned zip code? For example, the new zip code that we added, 98273, should be closer to High Rock. To fix this, we'll just need to edit the .zpc file. Go to File Functions in the upper left-hand corner, and then click on About Service Desk to open the About Service Desk form. Next, right-click in the lower left-hand corner where it says Running From. This will open your SD folder. Scroll down to find your ZPC file. It should be some variation of your business name. Right-click and choose to open with Notepad. Notepad is the only program we recommend using to open this file. Each line of text is made up of four fields. The four fields are separated with commas. The first field is the zip code. This field should be enclosed in quote marks. The second field is the grid coordinates for where you want the zip code to be displayed on the dispatch map. This field should also be enclosed in quotes. To find the grid coordinates for where we'd like the zip code to be displayed, we would go to our dispatch map. Again, the shortcut is F5. In this case, we want the zip code to be displayed closer to High Rock. We would simply click with our left mouse button to have the grid coordinates copied into the Windows clipboard. You can also see that the grid coordinates are displayed at the top of the screen. The third field you'll notice is not in quotation marks. This field is not actually used by Service Desk at this time, so you may enter any number there that you choose. The fourth and final field should also be enclosed in quote marks. This is the city and state that you would like displayed in Service Desk when you insert the zip code. Now we'll go back to our ZPC file. and do a control find to find our new zip code. That's control F. And then we'll go ahead and highlight this field and use control V to paste in the grid coordinates that we selected. And then we'll replace the brackets with quote marks. We also want to change the city from Monroe to High Rock. Next, we'll save the file and return to Service Desk. And if we go to our dispatch map and hit Z for zip code, 
we can see now that 98273 is displayed where we selected. If your office has a thin client setup, all your workstations will have this updated file. If you have any workstations where Service Desk is installed locally, you'll want to copy the updated file to the SD folder. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching how to edit the .zpc file.